morning. They did it. Aspire made a squonker. Can you believe it? And it's a single 18650 squonker, and it comes with a new Revo. Got a redesigned top cap with reduced airflow, and it's a squonker, too. It's awesome. Check it out. We're going to have a review right now. Vape AM, the Feedlink Revo Live. We're going to review this thing from Aspire, and it's pretty cool today. Yeah. The best intro in the business. I'm Eli Juicy Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters. And we're here to help you get further, faster in vaping. And really the mission of this channel is to help people get older and not die of cancer. <laughs> and to understand the science and technology of how vaping works, the devices we use, and to build a community. So I thank everyone who tunes in. I want to say hello to everybody who tuned in on the live show here, which includes Fumagino, Neil Pariah, Dude Mang, Michaela, Layton's Life, James, Keith, Connor, K. Bear, everybody. I love all y'all. Weird Will, Jason Kennedy. Hey, you guys have had a Corey. You guys have had a good conversation this morning. Really great to see all y'all. Thank you very much. If you're watching on the replay, you're welcome to. Thanks a lot. The way this is structured is that typically I do the first half of the show live, and then we do the last half of the show hanging out, doing live chat with you here, answering questions and doing stuff. And for the replay, I will end up cutting off the end half of the show. But never fear, you can always just tune in live, and this part of it will remain. I will do a drawing today for a winner for last week's Texas Stuff giveaway, for those of you who entered in there, and that was last week's Wednesday episode. And I also will t tell you guys on the replay, if you're watching this on the replay, just leave a comment and tell me what you think about the Revo and whether you own a Revo or whether you're interested in the Revo Blast that we're going to look at today, or if you're interested in this mod, just talk about it. Leave a message, any message relevant to this video. So. Love all y'all. You guys are great. This, oh, and one more thing. We will be at the West Coast Vape Expo July 8th, July 8th and 9th. I think that's the correct date. Make sure you go to westcoastvapeexpo.com. And our next review is going to be, next unboxing is going to be the iJoy Avenger voice control mod. Hi, Bixby. What should we do today? That's what I'll do. So Friday, we'll talk about the iJoy Avenger. Today, we're talking about the Feedlink Revo kit, which is really cool. Let's take a little look at the desk. These are all the parts that have changed in the Revo. There's the mod, new coils. You've already seen the box. We have already done an unboxing, a really cool short three and a half minute video, four minute video. Check that thing out. It's on my, on my channel and uh, it's probably gonna pop up here, in the links as well. And I wanna remind y'all to like and subscribe if you like these videos. Thanks for tuning in. This is Eli Juicy Jones in Juicy Jones HQ, Global Vaping Headquarters, and this show is called Vape AM. It is morning time. So we have a shout out from South Africa. Hey, Eugene DeVay, great to see you. I think that's DeVay, tell me if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, but so great to see you. Hey, Radu, great to see you. 2080 Fabian, a lot of new names. That's really great. Love seeing all y'all. I think that's really exciting. So this is really cool. I actually, this is the Aspire Feedlink Revo kit. And what this is, is a single 18650 bypass only mod that has electronic protections of every kind. Let me get the focus in. Sorry, I didn't set the focus. Let's just keep moving it until it looks good. This thing is so large. There we go. It's a single 18650 bypass mod, bypass only, that has electronics. So you'll notice that it has a button telling us the battery's full. Five clicks and it's on standby. So make sure that when you put this in your pocket, you click it five times. The mod body is made of a zinc alloy and the finish here are plastic clip-on shells and there are resin ones and this sort of pistol grippy ones. I don't prefer the pistol grippy one. Um, I like the resin looking ones, uh, but it feels great in the hand and it certainly looks pretty decent. I think the resin ones look a lot better. Um, the drip cap on the on the Revo is the same Delrin that it was before, of course. And the e-liquid bottle is made of all silicone with a Delrin plastic shell that you guys have seen. Uh, the 510 is gold-plated. And let me see if I can find Wow, it's a rare more. Oh, no, there it is. I put one right here. And this is, yeah, it's spring-loaded, of course. And you can hear it wishing. There we go. Uh, 
These are plastic panels, that's zinc alloy. The thing is relatively heavy weight, feels great. And it has a really beautiful, heavy fit and finish. The immediate, the immediate thought out of the box is, wow, nice. Um, and I, I can't wait to get one that's in the resin because I don't like the pistol grip, but the resin is really cool. But this thing is one hand size, single 18650. Let me go over a few. I think it costs about 60 to 75 bucks for the whole kit. And there's a link down to Vaporil at least in the description, but I'm not 100% sure if it's widely available. Uh, but these are great. So this is a Squonker, single 18650. The battery door is something I kind of hate on this device. It's a little finicky. It's one of these old school ones. And the problem is that they're real small. And when you get to the outside, it's super easy to drop it because there's nothing to grab onto here. So they need to add a thing to grab onto with your fingernail here. But they did that, this would be fixed. You see how it always slips out? So the best method for taking this on and off, honestly, is to do it from underneath. Because if you do this, then at least you're not gonna drop it. So go from underneath. Like you notice I'm turning the mod, turn the mod enough. Do not over tighten this because you're gonna have a very hard time getting it out. And do not put it in backwards, which I did do that. Um, it will not work and it's very difficult to get out because you have no way to grab this. I took a little pair of pliers and stuck it in there and turned it. Um, so put it in the correct way, but it's really easy to lose this. Notice. And this is my battery here. Sorry. I have to bang it out because it's my fault. I use these wraps and I put, uh, I put stickers on them so they don't fit well. So these are gonna fit tight with your batteries. They're gonna work with anything. This is about the thickest thing you can put in here and it's obviously easy to get in and out. I have to bang on it, but that's just me. The whole zinc alloy thing I don't think is gonna be destroyed anytime soon. These are good 3000 mile 20 amp batteries. I use 20 amp batteries in this because that's sort of what I like with the build that I got. I was gonna say I have a, a number of pieces of info about this thing. And one of them is, actually, let me look at my little sheet here. Yeah, what they say is that the, the minimum, the maximum voltage range is 4.2, because this is obviously a bypass mod. But it says that the minimum resistance on this is 0.1 to three and a half ohms. And one thing that I think is cool is that it was able to do less than 0.1. So it's been doing 0.08 with different batteries up. But make sure you put the right batteries in there. It will go below 0.1, but 0.1 to 3 is the recommended resistance. Rate. So getting the batteries in and out is pretty easy, except it's super easy to lose this door. So Aspire, stick a contour of that so it's easier to get out. Or, or do something to make it less, less prone to falling out and just disappearing. This, Door or squonk system is really cool. It turns with just a little quarter turn. God, that's like more like an eight. It's a quarter turn. And that locks it in there and it doesn't come loose. Then it pulls out this little cartridge that contains the silicone bottle. Be sure to watch the unboxing video I did because there's more information. But this is cool. You open this out and then you have this little bottle here and this is silicone. And then there's a squonk tube in there in stainless steel. This comes apart. And you can certainly fill it this way if you open this, pull this out. You have some, you have some e liquid in there. I've been squonking. And this is kind of cool, but you don't have to actually do that because look, as you can see, it's got a little spring on it. You guys see that? I put down the green mat so you can see. This is for air. To come in when you have an atomizer down on that thing this will be open so that air can come out through the top it's quite clever and you can actually fill through that so this is pretty groovy i like the bottle let me just dump some e-liquid out of here we're going to put some new stuff in here anyway i'm just dumping it into a little paper towel on my desk i came prepared <laughs> for once you know, i'd be needing that and here the silicone bottle is great I got no complaints about this bottle. There's a stainless steel ring inside here and it's formed around it. So when you put the top on and it sandwiches on there, it's squishing that between this piece of stainless steel and the top. Don't do it too tight. You really don't need to squeeze this down very tight. But this is pretty cool. Like I said, you can either fill directly into the top or you can go 
through this little hole here. And let's grab some delicious banana cannoli from Van Gogh Vapes. Oh my God, the new Van Gogh Vapes International, not International Delights, the new Van Gogh Vapes Bakery line is so delicious. They reformulated the cannoli, the churros, blueberry muffin, and I always forget the fourth one. You guys who watch this channel a lot know that if there's if there's a list of things, that list minus one is what I remember. But uh, <laughs> this stuff is so delicious. It tastes like cannoli made with bananas. As you know, cannoli is an Italian dessert, Sicily. So you see, if you press on that thing, it'll fill it up. So when you're on the run, all you really have to do my God, did I really misplace the mod? Oh, there it is, lol. If you're on the run, all you really have to do is pop this thing out, squeeze a bottle on there, hold it by the plastic thing and press in there. It feels a little bit like the Revo did. You have to make sure that you can that air is escaping off the top. You see how air is coming out? That's key. So if you're pressing and air is coming out, you're doing all right. You'll notice that my bottle is leaking, but the Revo is doing all right. Or I'm sorry, but the Squonker is doing all right. Eugene DeVay, you can always go to vangovapes.com and see if they sell to South Africa. They probably do. You can import it there. Y'all make sure that you use the code juicyjoneshq at uh, vangovapes.com and they will give you a discount. I absolutely love this juice. It's so delicious. So, this holds seven milliliters. I have noticed that over time, I have to come in and wipe this thing off every couple of days. And that's because you guys with squonkers know that it just is an imperfect science, but I, I'm not gonna ding this thing for being messy or anything. I think it's pretty darn good. I like it a lot um, because it isn't. This is not a particularly messy one. They include an O-ring here on the top on the 510 and I like it fine, but mine was pretty, mine comes out pretty easily. So sometimes I wonder if heat from RDAs is going to make this just fall out one day. And I think that's pretty likely. So Aspire, you might want to consider maybe enlarging the inner diameter of that and deepening the groove by like a quarter of a millimeter. I don't know, something like that. It just feels like it's going to shrink or it's going to grow. Um, so that is the actual mod. So now we have a 20 amp battery in there and it's going to be a little weak on the Revo, but I'm doing it for a reason. I have a better, I have a tank that I like better on this. But now let's look at the Revo Blast because the Revo Blast is cool. I've got my regular Revo here. I'll come back up top and do a quick station identification. I am Eli Juicy Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters and you are watching Vape AM, the only morning show in the universe for vaping where we just talk about vaping. Sorry, I dropped my napkin. Uh, today we're talking about the Aspire Revo the Aspire Feedlink Revo Blast Kit. And I'm so excited about this thing. It's like a little squonker from Aspire. That's just cool. Make sure you have some strong brownie in motion going in your thing. And yum. Esteban Mario, my friend Praetorian, is asking me if they have an extra bottle. Nope, no extra bottle. One seven mil bottle in here. I haven't actually missed it at all. Um, it would be nice to have one, but you wouldn't be able to carry this without uh, leaking. Because if you squeeze this, that's just going to come straight out. I'll demonstrate. So um, this isn't mechanically made for that so much. But you know what I've noticed is that it has not been a problem, too. I, I guess seven milliliters is sort of enough for it to be... A good amount to vape? I don't know. That's, I, that's a good question. I, you definitely can't carry an empty bottle but or a spare bottle but you could carry an empty one let's look at the revo blast as you guys know i love the revo this thing is revolutionary i think as far as the way it's designed if you haven't looked at the unboxing and the seven things you didn't know about the revo tank videos i did make sure you do that i'm going to show you the big differences between each of the different revos and what we have is here on the desk that's pretty much happening as we speak right here in the front the biggest differences are the caps and the cams that hold down the coils and provide spitback protection and airflow contouring. And the two cages appear to be nearly identical, except that they've switched the output hole from the bottom on the original Revo. You recall, you put the juice in this little nozzle and it comes out the bottom. 
This time, this has been closed off and merely has a little umbrella to make e-liquid come down out of there. And the hole is at the top of the stem in there. So that's actually not a huge difference. And these parts are all the same except for this. And the biggest change in the Revo Blast, besides the fact that it's a squonker now, is that the airflow is radically different. The airflow is much, much, much lower. Much more restricted in a good way, too. And I'm telling you guys, you'll notice that the caps are the same. That the air coming into the restrictor ring is the same here. The triple cyclops. But this is way different. The inside of the Revo Blast has a, let me just set the focus in a slightly different place. Never have enough lights on your desk, y'all. Let me just attest to that. Okay, here we go. The Revo Blast has a much, much more restricted inside. You'll notice that it's built in all the way, and this one goes almost all the way out. And it also has that contoured top flange that the original does not have. But the changes are restricted to just the metal parts inside there. The Delrin around the outside is the same. The airflow holes are the same size. And it appears that the threading and everything is the same because the parts are compatible. I was able to swap all these parts out between each other uh, without much of a problem. This was a little bit tall for the new Revo, but it did still work. It worked, but it didn't 100% fit. So let's put this together and I'll show you a little bit how they, they are different. First, let's put the glass on the bottom of these. And this part isn't changing at all. Both of these have an inside cage, which I think Aspire should work to abolish the cage. The cage causes e-liquid on the inside to just sort of sit there and prevents it from fully clearing out. Um, it would be cool if they could do something about that by reducing the amount of things touching the glass. Even if they went from three to two, it would be an improvement. And the structural rigidity is provided by the glass anyway. So that shouldn't be a problem. I feel the same exact way about this one. We're going to get another close-up at the top when I put the coils in here. 2080 Fabian's asking if it uses less juice than the original reveal. Yeah, it uses less juice because it doesn't just doesn't consume as much juice. It's a but you it still can consume a lot of juice. This is net this is not an this is not an atomizer that doesn't that sips juice. I'll tell you guys. Okay, let's take new coils. The coils are compatible with the old Revo. And I couldn't see any change in them except that the ones that come from the factory have blue O-rings, which is fun. But as you know, we just stick these guys in there. And then we'll look at these little cams that hold them down. The cams that hold them down changed quite a bit. As you'll notice, the new one is shorter and has a lot more air holes in it. It's also the air holes are shorter. So it provides a more restricted airflow, but still very, very, very good. And like I said, these parts are compatible. I'll illustrate. Here's the new Revo. Wonk. If you have the Revo Squonk and you prefer your old Revo's airflow, well, you can put your old Revo airflow right on the Revo Squonk and go crazy. I actually prefer the reverse, in my case. So I'm gonna put this one back on there. The Revo Squonk is a two milliliter tank, TPD compatible, and, bef and let me tell you, it is not better to have more e-liquid in a squonking tank. This would actually not be better. What's great about this, and I'll tell you more about this in a second, is that when you're squonking, you can see it quite easily when you're running low. It's like having a large RDA reservoir. So we're just screwing these down on here. And you'll see that the hole comes out the top here and the bottom there. This one is articulated with that concentric thing, which you should watch my video. And this is fixed up at the top here. There's no way to fill the top. There's no way to top fill this without disassembling it. So you can pop this off and fill it this way, which is not that crazy. There are many tanks with worse filling systems, to be honest, but there's no other way to do it. That will be messy when it's in use. Make sure that's, make sure that you can't see the O-ring when you're looking around there. 
Got it screwed in. Don't over tighten any of this stuff. None of it needs to be super cranked down, especially the top caps. Don't do that. I'm going to put the top cap on the old Revo. There it is. Top cap old. Woo. And here is the Delrin drip tip. And these parts are identical, except this one has a reduced airflow. You'll notice that it is about half the airflow, which I like a lot better. A lot better. But again, you can just switch these rings between them. Do not over tighten these. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to try to get one of those squonk shots where we squonk through it. After I assemble these. We'll fill them both ways. Oops. I'm actually going to use my Aspire Sky Star that I'm already using. My Aspire Sky Star is so good. The electronics they have in this thing are it's a great chip. You can operate this with one hand just like you can operate the Sky Star with one hand. And that's one of the whole ideas behind this. So there's our squonk. There's our squonk pin. In we go. All right, we're in. Tell me if you guys are doing okay on the audience, by the way, if we're having any technical difficulties. I feel like we're doing fine. Plain. There it is, we're squonking. The reason why we're having trouble there is because it's not 100% level because of the nature of desk cameras. But as you can see, the all silicone bottle squonks quite easily. The reason why it's not good for this to be a bigger tank is that it takes too long to squonk. Honestly, here we are, and you do not want to over squonk this. Do not try to fill it all the way up. Because if you fill it all the way up and just keep squonking and keep squonking, trying to make sure you never see air here, what you're going to get is a really sloppy wet vape. And it's going to be bad. So really, this is what you're aiming for right here. You're aiming for it to be almost full all the time. So every once in a while, just give it a little bit of a squeeze and look at it, and you should see mostly liquid and a big air bubble. I swear, this is the exact thing you want. Mostly liquid and a big air bubble. That is perfect for vaping the Revo. And all you have to do is maintain this mostly e-liquid, big air bubble. Mostly e-liquid, one big bubble. All right. Hey, there's Kay Bear. Great to see you. Oh, she didn't refresh, and so she hasn't seen the live page. If you haven't seen a startup, make sure you refresh. There it is right there. So if you over squonk this thing, it will, um, it will be a problem. You'll have like a really nasty wet vape if you do that. And there's one other thing that happens too. Oh, and if you overfill it too, it'll take forever for it to under, for it to fill back up this thing. Because remember, you want to grab this thing and you want that flow to go back down. If you have it full up all the time, it's always going to be sucking on some e-liquid and having bubbles and it's just going to be a problem down here. So you want that to be mostly full, big air bubble. Let's look at the top. It's going to be just fine. And see, look, we already have pooling. So I want to stop squonking. There's no way I want to squonk anymore on that but it's all saturated. Let's go up on top and vape and I'll talk about this thing. Yum! Banana cannoli is yummy. I like the flavor a lot better on this. It's a more concentrated vape and the airflow being more restricted just gives it better flavor and more restriction, which I like a lot. That's so delicious. I love this little kit. I think it's really cool. I wanna show you one more thing about this, and that is that it works great with other devices. It's 25 millimeters wide at the wide part here. So one slight flaw is that some things will have a little bit of an overhang. But for example, this is my iJoy SRDA, which is actually my favorite thing to have on here because it comes out about 50, 50, two watts or something like that with my 20 amp batteries. You put a 20 amp battery at 0.13, it's about 50 something watts. And there, oh, I forgot to tell you guys also, there are three lights on this thing. 
One light flashes when it says there's an error, and there's a different kinds of flashing as illustrated in the manual. And when it locks and unlocks, you see both lights. When it's working and the batteries are full, five. When it's working and the batteries are full and you vape, it shows the blue light. And then when the batteries are between 3.2, no, 3.8, I can get to the exact range. Oh, it's in the manual. Ding! The colored lights. When you put a battery in, the light flashes blue and orange twice. And when it's over 3.8, the light's blue. And between 3.5 and 3.8, it shows both colors. And below 3.5, it shows just the orange color, change your battery, and it will lock itself when it gets to three. Is that the correct number? Yep, well, no, that's not true. It lo mine, mine locked itself when it got to 3.2, 3.34, 3.3. So it's a normal thing. It has protection from over voltage, reverse polarity, and um, it has a 10 second timer. I love this iJoy SRDA in here. This is a great vape on here, but 60 watts on this thing works great. As you'll notice, it squonks with everything and just works great. It also works great with its own Revo. The reduced airflow Revo works a lot better at lower wattages. You're gonna have a much more satisfying vape out of it at this lower wattage setting. Let's talk about the pros and cons of this. And uh, I'll tell you my overall rating, which is I like this, you should buy it. Um, this is, the pros of this thing are that it feels great and it's got a, um, it's really durable. The zinc alloy is great. I've got some notes over here too. Um, I love the fill system. I love the bottles. You guys had a great suggestion that they um, that they make a cartridge bottle that you can pop out and put a cap on. Why not a cap just like their Aspire cap thing? That would be great. Um, and I like the silicone bottle and it feels great and it's pretty cool. So the plastic button is not so wild about that. The cons here, are that it's a little underpowered. I think this should have been a 2700 mod. It's quite clear that it's say 0.13 resistance, which is the low end of the Revo vaping range. With a 20 watt battery, you get about 52 watts. And with a 25 watt battery, it's about 80. 30 goes to 117 and 35 goes to 159 and a quarter. And the thing is those 30 amp battery limits, 30 and 35, that's where the 2700s live all the time with 30,000, 3,500 miles sometimes. So it's really way, way better if this were a 2700 mod and it would not suffer from size at all. I'm not sure what the delay is with Aspire and the 2700s, but these two mods right here need to be 2700 immediately and then they will be the only mods you ever need, I think. So Aspire, everybody all together, Aspire 2700. So because of that, it's a little underpowered. Make sure that you pick the right build. I picked 0.13 20 amp batteries for me and my iJoy SRDA and the Revo I prefer on my iJoy Squonker. Uh, the button is just a teeny bit plasticky to me, not too bad, um, but I like it okay. I don't know how many times it's gonna click. It doesn't feel super great and it rotates on, right up here so you can't press directly down on it. You have to press on the end and you can't see the light most of the time. So that's a little bit of a con that I can't see the light most of the time unless I'm trying. Uh, the overhang issue is not a big deal with the panels on it. So if you measure it with the panels, you know, you never, it never feels like it's overhang, but there certainly is some. So with the 2700 battery, this would be a mood issue. And one thing I want to point out too, is that this mod would not be bigger with the 2700. This is the Oceanus. And this is a 2700 mod and it's smaller in every dimension except the height than this mod. So, um, you know, the, the battery is not the reason why this this mod is is uh, 18650. That it wasn't because they wanted to make it small, because you can make it small with a single 27. Well, it would be much better. Um, and I'm not wild about this pistol grip. I wish I'd had the, the resin one, but that's not a con. That's just my preference. So this is pretty good. They're about 60 to $75. You can get them from the link in the description. Vaporal right now, they aren't widely available, but they're the release date was only yesterday. So you're gonna see these things coming out. and. That's all I've got to say. I like this thing. It's great. Thanks to Aspire for sending this thing. I love all you guys. Stick around if you're watching live because we're going to do 
a, uh, a chat all together. But right now we're going to do a giveaway. I'm going to go over here to my YouTube channel and we're going to do a giveaway. And then we are going to start another one. If you're watching the replay, just leave any comment relevant to the Revo. Do you own a Revo? Are you interested in squonking the Revo? Do you have squonkers? What do you think about the iJoy feed link? You like 18650s versus 2700s? Whatever you got to say, leave a comment and I'll draw next Wednesday and you'll win some Texas Tough Cotton. I'm going to go to this video and I'm going to find us a winner for last week's episode. Looks like Jim just got back from work. Great to see you. Hey, Michaela. It's so great. Great to see you. 2080 Fabian says he uses the Revo with an XX Mini, but he has to carry bottles all the time. And then uh, you wonder if you have to carry a battery instead with this device. That's the question. One more thing I wanted to mention to you guys is that they will be selling the Revo parts for the top on their website, but I do not know if they're going to sell the Revo separately. I would buy this just to have a Revo squonker, personally. That's my opinion. Okay, let's pick a winner. Okay, last Wednesday, my favorite kit, the Capo 216 RPA. Picking a winner. Picking a winner. Picking a winner. Gotta click. And the winner is Brady. Brady, you want some Texas tough, baby. So, and he says, I promise I won't leave anything vulgar or weird. <laughs> I made a comment asking people not to leave vulgar or weird comments. You guys too. So, thanks so much. Stick around if you're here live. But if you're on the replay, I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I want to show you one more thing on the tune out. This is my favorite new setup right here. The Revo Squonker on the iJoy 216. Serious battery life. 71 watts. It's great. I'm going to vape out on this. Hey, I just joked. Too much vape. Oh my God. Best of YouTube. That was funny. I love all you guys. Thanks for, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe and make sure you go to juicydoneshq.com for updates. Thank you.